Hey everybody, welcome to our Job Nimbus 101 workshop today. We are so excited to have you here with us. Today we're going to be going over one of the more advanced features in Job Nimbus, which is our locations feature, helping you control multiple offices or businesses from one Job Nimbus account. My name's Logan. And I'm Dan. And I want you to, you to think about how you use Job Nimbus. Do you have one company with multiple offices, such as some of our users who have an office in Florida and in Colorado? Or do you have one umbrella company that has multiple different companies under it, such as our user that has a iron door making company and a siding and painting company, which are completely two different types of companies? Well, locations is the feature for you. With the locations feature, you can have your multiple companies or your multiple offices and manage all of your contacts from one Job Nimbus account. Even more, you can help organize and track your tasks and products from your different companies or different offices from one Job Nimbus account without having to purchase multiple accounts to manage your different companies or, or offices. This will help you save money and let us show you how. So if you've ever set up a Job Nimbus account before, you are actually kind of familiar with how to set up a location. The thing that we have to do is come into our settings by clicking on our name in the upper right hand side or initials or photo, choosing settings. And then next we're gonna come into company right here. Now you'll generally have just one location to start with and that will also be your primary location. Now you can add a new location with this button right here. But since we actually have a second location set up, we're just gonna go in and edit it. We're gonna click on edit. We're gonna add in a company logo. Perfect, this High Five logo is gonna work great for our company. And this company is High Five Roofing. Now we're gonna give this location code so that we can go and add the code to our contacts or various other numbers inside Job Nimbus to easily identify what is what at a glance. And the location code for this is gonna be good luck high five, G-L-H-F. Now we can also add in address information. That's a great address. And we can choose a color to represent it on the calendar. We're gonna choose this quarter of magenta color. Now we could add in other information like our business hours, phone numbers, state, such things, uh, but we're good here. So we're gonna save this location and then we're gonna head over to our general and we are going to edit our contact number template right here to show our location code. So let's click here. Let's copy the short code for location, come into our contact ID add it to the front and uh, we're going to add a hyphen in between to make it really clear. So now we've set up our location and we've changed our contact number template to reflect the change that we've made so that uh, our contacts will now be identified by their location. Now, whenever you make a change in your settings, it's always a good idea to refresh. So we're going to refresh right now. And since we have our locations and our location code all set up properly, it is time to showcase what you can do. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to manage our team because not every single team member is going to be under our solar company. As you see, we have Jerry Roofer, who is our lone roofer. He is not one of our solar employees, so I need to put him under our roofing company. So here we have High Five Roofing. Let's add him to that location. Now, what this will do is any contact that Jerry adds into Job Nimbus will automatically be added to the High Five Roofing Company. So he won't have to change locations. And I'm going to show you that right now. Once we have our team members organized by location, we can now add contacts to our different locations. So let's go add a contact. And as you see, we have this option right here of location. Now, like I said, when Jerry adds a contact to our company or to our account, it'll automatically be put in High Five Roofing. And we can choose that from this drop-down menu. So there we have a, we're adding a new lead to High Five Roofing. And this lead is going to be Dave Schwimmer. 
And that's all we really need right now. Their new lead for our high, high five roofing company. And we'll save it right there. Now, once we get a new lead, first thing that we need to do is set up a, an appointment. So we're going to add a task for a roof assessment because we need to get Jerry up there to assess the damage so we can create an estimate. And that is for, uh, that is for tomorrow. Let's save this. And let's take a look at our calendar. As uh, when we get to our calendar, as you see, we have a lot of roof assessments here. Which one is for our solar company and which one's for our roofing company? Right now, I have no idea. But if I come over here to our color code by location, this is a pretty neat trick. Click on this and we see that we have three solar company roofing assessments. And here we have our roofing roof assessment. This will help you organize and differentiate which tasks go with which location. Not only can we use locations to control the way we see our calendar, but locations will also control the way we see our financials. Now, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set that up. So we're gonna go back into our settings where we set most things up in Job Notes. And I'm gonna go to my features. And I'm gonna turn on location-based products. Now, when I click this, it's gonna give me a warning. Are you sure you wanna set this up? Because if you do it, it can't be undone. So watch to the end of the video to make sure that this is right for you before you set it up yourself. For now, we're going to turn that on. We are going to go to our products and services. We'll see we just have one product and service. And we're going to make sure that it's tied to the location job Nimbus Solar. Perfect. And that is our solar tiles. We're going to add in a new product. We're going to choose the location, be high five roofing. The product name is going to be solar no shingles, which is a terrible product name, but it'll make sense in a second. <laughs> we're gonna add in our financial information. We're gonna give it a markup and we're gonna save that. And you'll see one is for Job Nimbus Solar. The second is for High Five Roofing. Now let's go back to Dave. You'll see that the code that we changed on the right-hand side is showing indeed he does belong to, belong to a Good Luck High Five. Now let's add in our financial. And we're gonna type in solar. And you'll see that the solar tiles doesn't show up because he's not a solar customer. He's actually a roofing customer. So what we actually want for him is shingles. After we save this estimate, you'll notice that the estimate has our logo and the roofing information for high five roofing, including the very incomplete address. Now, if we go to Jane Tester, who we're going to make sure is associated with Job Nimbus Solar. Let's save that. And make a financial for her. We'll type in solar here, and only solar tiles shows up. Then when we save the estimate, the logo is our Job Nimbus logo. And our Job Nimbus information shows up here instead of our gobbledygook information for good luck high five. I hope that you found this information useful for you to be able to use locations. Locations help us by identifying our estimates, our customers, and our financial information like products, as well as separating our team members and customers into easy groups so we know who belongs with what. If you've got any questions about locations or anything else in Job Nimbus, please reach out to our support team using the phone number and email here on the screen. Or if you'd like to read more on your own, check out our knowledge base at support.jobnimbus.com for everything you could ever hope to know about Job Nimbus. Thanks so much for joining this morning and have a great day.